Kaioken King Piccolo's here. The Upper Hand Store Championship qualifiers finished a few days ago. Uh, I ended up coming out in third place uh, with a 3 to 1 record. And uh, that one was the guy who got first place right here who kicked my ass, who was playing Reboot Gohan. And uh, you. I'll have him show off his deck profile so you can see what a number one deck looks like in a best of one online tournament. So, uh, hi everybody, my name is Jean Sébastien, I'm from uh, South Shore of Montreal. I am a Canadian player. I don't normally go into major events, but uh, my good friend Nick was like, oh, you should play, come on, it's been a while. I'm like, alright, fine, I'm coming, <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> So today I was playing Ribu Gohan, the boogeyman of the format, if I may say so myself. I was I was torn between two decks, and then I playtested last night, way later than I want to admit. And I playtested Broly and Gohan, and I felt way, way, way more comfortable with the Gohan. The the way I the way he, he rolls, and the fact that you can rely on leader and not on a chain like Broly. What makes me go towards the Ribu Gohan? So basically, I have four of the. Well, I didn't deconstruct in my deck, but oh well. Four That's of the Supreme Kaya Time. If I can find all of them. Oh, well, you know the card. That's fine. So, as long it, as you uh, show the card and then we can. And then just one of the card and just see how many you got in the deck. That's good enough. Yeah, so I had four Supreme Kaya Time, which was basically a bonus super combo. Afterwards, I had a, a playset of Feet Kamehameha, which is what makes the deck super broken. The fact that on turn 2, you're swinging, going super high on, on the attack power, and then like, alright, triple strike, critical attack. So, either you lose your hand, or you lose your life. Both case scenarios, you're, it's, it's a bad situation for the other player. Yep. Afterwards, for when I was going second, I decided to go with two Hard Harrow of Love. Basically, this card is meant for when my opponent is either spamming the board or placing blockers or just like, hey, I have cards I don't like, I need them rid of it for my strategy to go on, or I need to defend myself and not go too low on life. So that's where I play the Hard Hero of Love, and, it, and in my testing it went super clutch. I put against Garlic with this card, he had two Yamcha blockers, and that cleared the way for, for, for my way to victory. Afterwards, I had four of the Dodoria, Gohan, and Zarbuto, yep. and also Frieza. I went all in on the Awakened packages, because on turn 2, that's the turn you want to awaken. If you don't awaken by turn 2, you're already losing on time. If you So, by having these set of cards, it it's a, ensures you that your leader is going to awaken and do your shenanigans with either Feed Kamehameha or other cards in the deck, and also apply some pressure. The MVP of the deck, if I can call it like this, is the Gohan and the is the Gohan because of the simple fact that it's critical. So they lose cards from their hand from defending, or they lose cards from their life, and that and that makes them lose card advantage for my bigger assaults, which is, which is very 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 good for me. And it helps you awaken even quicker. Exactly. So health toward my game, my game plan, my game course. So yeah, these four cards. I like to have two in my in my opening hand. One of the one of either one of these sixteen, two times. So it helps consistency. Yep. Afterward, for the I'm gonna clear some room up. Afterwards, I went four of that overrun card. Which is Sun Goten changing history from the draft box six. When I realized what I realized facing this card and Toa the the promo was that most of the time a blockade or a blocker is enough to stop this card's attack. Or, whereas this card is if you negate once, it's okay because I can pitch a card that is dead in my hand. Let's say a, a an extra card that I cannot play because I tapped out. I discard it, restand it, and that's another attack. So it's basically a 15k dual attack for free. Which is actually insane. Afterwards, I had a split on super combos. I had a split with uh, Asparagus, 
and Android 18 blue-green super combo. The blue-green was to help against uh, the hand destruction part from on my opponent to lessen their defense, and the asparagus was there to to help me find some cards like hey I'm missing a feat or hey I'm missing something like a Goten to further push, or another card that I also like was Belmod, which came in very very clutch in my last match. If it wasn't from Belmod, I think I would have lost because what Belmod does is yeah sacrifice three battle cards. So let's say I have this card, this card, and this card on board. After they're done attacking, they're useless. So you you sacrifice them, play Belmod, and then you go into Overrealm. So that's another three attack for free once again. Yeah, it's a crazy combo. Oh yeah, it is. And a card I also didn't really like or saw was the Beerus Golly Majesty at three. Which is which is in conjunction with the Goten, uh, with the Goten, where like I, if I drop a card by for restanding him, if I drop the Beerus, another attacker, which is also good, but never came in. But it's there if I need it to. Words. I had two of the Sun Gohan Hidden Might. Okay. It is an alternate win condition when the game tries uh, is going to go lengthy. Like, hey, I cannot win by turn two or three. This is a card that will help me, as it has the flag and double strike, and it's also a spot removal for two because my life will be so low. So basically, the card is reading that if my life is at three or less. So basically, when I awaken, I reduce the energy card of this card in my hand by three. So it's basically two green, which is very very cheap for the effect that its card is doing. And I can either pop a card in the ring barrier, or remove a marker from a unit in my opening controls. Okay. Most of the time it's going to be blockers or annoying stuff on board that I don't like, and this guy is double striker, so... Further further goes towards making my life go- the opponent's life go to zero. And uh, as a tech card... I had self hurt the strength coming on me, I had 4, and Adrian 18 at 4. Yep, that cell caught me off guard in our match. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that card went super good. At one time, I was against an opponent, and my opponent was already low on life. He was already at three, so playing feet was not a good option. Hence, I was I had cell in hand, so I'm like, why crit three if I'm already doing three damage? And that and that's where this card shines, as it's as it gives plus fifteen combo power. It's like three cards in one, and ripping a card from the opponent's hand, which is also very strong. Uh, obviously, you don't choose the card, like, you, you don't see it, you're, it's random, but but hey, a card less, and it's a, it's a card less to worry about, if I may say so. Oh, and Android 18 was also a pseudo super combo as well. At first, I was playing two Champas and two Android 18, but I figured very quickly that I had my hand clogged with uh, extra cards on turn two, so I'm like, hmm, I don't need to go do a double strike, I need to go further in my combos. And that's where this card came in clutch. As like like I said, if I if I go in, I'm tapped out because I used feet or extra cards, and I can use this card, pitch an extra card, and go to 11k combo power for basically once again free. So it's like using two cards for the sake of three. It's very very good. Yep. And that wraps it up for what the deck looks like. So it's basically an ultra acro. Put your put your helm on, strap it on tight, and go in the and go in the fray. <laughs> Well, perfect. Well, thanks for showing us the deck list. Uh, congratulations on winning, and Thank hopefully you. you do well in the championships that you got the invite to. Thank you. Thanks for having me too. Uh, and also, I would like to shout out. The, I would like to shout out a couple people and places. I'd like to shout out Nick Menar from playing with me last night. It was late night testing. I was I was very tired. I wanted to go to sleep, but I knew if I didn't have this test in me, I would have a rough time. And because of that. I, I think it's because of that that I may have, have been uh, have won the competition. Also, the the boys at Three Kings Loot, the store I go to, uh, the store I go when I uh, when I play with most of my friends, and the three mana store where I buy all my cards most of the times. Amazing store, amazing staff, amazing people. So yeah, these guys are amazing. They help me strive on being a, being a better player and. And going forward into the events like this, so so yeah, shout out to Three Kings Loop, Three Mana, and especially Nick for last night uh, late night testing.
Perfect. Well, it sounds great. Uh, enjoy the win and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. You too. I apologize for the subpar quality again. Uh, like I said, if you want to see the deck list, it's on Shenron Layer in the description below. If you want to see any of the matches from that day, they're all streamed and they were reposted on the channel, so I'll put them in the description below. And uh, yeah, as always, uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see the my deck list that I used for the tournament. It was Ginyu or any of the other deck lists that some people used, and uh, I'll get it for you. Uh, as always, have a good one.